No salt or seasoning. It's crawling on me. <laughs> so sick and tired. All right, so I'm about to shower and I pinned my situations to my hair cap because last time I had it on a necklace and I felt like, like I couldn't wash my neck well so I pinned it to a hair cap and obviously because it can't hang down if it hangs down it's gonna fall off this is how I'm gonna shower you gotta make it do what it do you know me although this looks wild hanging it to my hair cap really was all all the rave because then I could wash my neck and everything well last time I put on this headband that I just had on my neck and I couldn't wash my neck well in my opinion you must be grossed out by these uh <laughs> bulbs in your face I need to exfoliate my face I haven't done that but this is the real though because I've been watching several videos as you can imagine and I don't really see people showing us this show me how you really doing it show me how it's really going down because otherwise, I don't know how you're getting it done. Like, if you say you showered, how did you shower? You know, like, how did it go? You know, obviously, I couldn't show you my shower. <laughs> Both deals. This is pharmacy waterless vitamin C. I'm just going to wear a hat today. I do want to straighten my hair. I'm throwing away all of the lipo foam that I had on since, since surgery day. It's got stains on it. It's gross. Now I'm going to lotion. And then put on my garment. Joe Malone, baby. I gotta smoke it. Now, there's nothing to hook my tubes to, so that's why they're still on my head like this. Ooh, this smells so good. Yes, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. I love how my body looks. What? Freaking love it. Of course, I have the imprints on my body from, the, my chest is dry. You know, I have eczema on my chest, so it's just dry. I have the imprints on my body from all the foam and garments. Do you see that? Lipo stitches right there. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh. thing to come up on the booty. It just like presses it up. That was a little bit painful. Okay. And I had some dryness over here from my, my, I keep calling her a therapist. That massage, you know, is she a massage therapist? Girl, I don't know. Even she was like, oh, it was dry skin. It was right here. Not dry. Lotion my tummy. Because she uses an oil on the tummy anyway to do her procedures and then she wipes it off i'm like can you leave it <laughs> whatever oil that is just leave it i don't like dry skin thank you very much the mons is swollen the mons is the, the area where the hair is pubic hair is on the top mm, it's called mons m-o-n-s and these this tape is literally glued my doctor said actual glue so there's no way that i ooh, can take it off ooh. My skin is so tender. Jesus, man of God. Ooh. So whenever it's time, she will take it off. So it getting wet in the shower is not a concern. Oh Lord. I think of my leggies. Like, you know what? I'm gonna loosen myself. Ugh. My leg up. I can just do it. I can bend over easily too. Look at that. Praise be, man. I tell you, everyone's different. But in my case, I can do this. I can bend right over on my tummy and and I would show you but like incisions, vagina, not vagina, mons, you know, vulva, not gonna work. But I'm bending right over, lotioning my legs and now my feet. Oh, I just did my legs. Look at that. Mm. One thing about me today, I'm just not good, okay? And I'm gonna get some more of this belly button stuff and i'm just gonna make bathe in a daily thing showering because i just need to smell good and i actually that just woke me up you know showering wakes you up all that activity because i was feeling so groggy earlier and now i feel awake 
Okay. I don't feel I don't feel tired or anything. Just breathing in short breaths because I can't take a deep freaking breath. <laughs> you can't really take a full deep breath. Duh. Okay, Ooh, I got a bruise. Is that a bruise? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a bruise. Ooh, my arm fat is my armpit fat is gone. Yo man. Unheard of. No, there's no freaking way. I'm taking it off. It's too tight. I can't do it. And now I see that I should just shower at night since I'm gonna be going to my massage in the morning. Okay, she about to go take all this right off. Oh my god. Whew. Now I know. And this fall needs to go down to my mom's. M-O-N-S, Google it. Go down to the moms. Okay. <sighs> Yo, man. That other one just pissed me off. It hurt so badly. <sighs> what? Tight for no freaking reason. Wouldn't even go over my hips. Oh, hell. Yo, that just made me mad. That just made me so mad. And I paid two hundred dollars for it. I wouldn't go over my hips. I'll have to buy another double XL and just get it so I'm screw this. Just made me dizzy and upset. Two. It goes here. Number one. It goes here. Ah, sheesh. Just put myself. God of mercy. Number one goes here. Take this bonnet. I'll clean up later. We'll clean later. All these messages. Jesus, man. Who's calling me now? Who's texting me now? Now we're at the mall. Hey, the outlet. I'm on talking about Express is still alive. Let's see what Versace is talking about. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm right now in Clark's. My mom's getting some orthopedic shoes, and we have been outside for quite some time. Your Versace got us. That's some good stuff though, and I got some from my sister. She's going to vomit in excitement. And the manager there was very nice. They gave us some dumb for everyone. Wait, Pellegrinia? What is that you call it? Who was that? Is that a baby? Oh, it's someone's bag. We've been walking around for a while. My legs do feel a little bit swollen, so I came in to get home and put on my compression socks. I now realize I need to put those things on. <laughs> I should have had them on today. Don't know why I took them off. I, I know why I wanted to wash them. <laughs> That's why. Okay. And I was just texting my doctor too. She, anyway, she. I was updating her on the massage, and she's texting me, asking me how I was doing. So it's just nice to be able to reach my doctor after such a huge procedure. And she concurred that the lipo was the problem, but not the tummy tuck. I can't even put my hand on my hips. Who am I, who am I, who am I fooling? Hold on. Coughing hearts, yo. Welcome to day six. Ooh, it's day six. Wow. Day six full stop. Yes, if you hear banging and you need playing basketball in his room, girl. Going to the, what you call it? What you call it? The outlet yesterday was quite a thing. I'm glad I went. Wow, it was quite a workout. And my legs did swell. I was feeling like I didn't need the compression compression socks, lies. In fact, I need to wash those. I ordered more, I ordered three or four packs, something from Amazon. So it will be here soon. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep those on 24 seven because I thought it was okay. And then I can feel swelling in my thighs. So I'm gonna put those bad boys on. Otherwise I'm doing fine. I mean, sleeping isn't the greatest, but it is what it is. I did not take the PM. Hello?
Why am I not in focus? Why are you doing that? You know, good of long you focus, right? So you don't focus on the people? What? What did I press? I pressed something. I messed something up. Let's try this again. I messed something up. Track my face. Okay, right, now I guess it's tracking. I don't know. Wait, I need to shave my face. I have not shaved my face in so long. And yes, gonna wear the compression socks today. It's day six. I feel good. I still feel tight. I'm standing really almost, almost actually straight. And I wasn't that hunched in general, but I'm definitely almost completely straight. <laughs> I hate having this robe on because my, my, what do you call them? Drains. The drain is the tube. So what is this? The sacks are right here. So it just looks ridiculous. Now I don't feel like putting the sacks down here. They put them here, so I keep them here. This is just annoying. I need to find something else to wear. Actually, I, I did freshen up already. So I'm actually gonna just put some real clothes on. I need to go buy another one of these so that I can wash it. But then they're trying to say, well, my my masseuse is trying to say that by next week, I'll be in the XL. So I'm gonna go buy another one if she thinks I'm not even gonna be in this one longer. Girl, I don't know. Whatever. I'm committed to showering every other day now. I showered yesterday. I feel good. My back is itchy. Yo, I don't know if my back skin is dry or if it's the lipo. My back skin is itchy at the top. I have back scratcher. Is it tracking me? We tracking, right? Okay, praise God, we tracking. I want to straighten my hair because I am sick and tired of looking at it like this. I am so sick and tired. And I have been spraying it with leave-in every now and then. I hate the way my hair looks right now. Granted, I wanted to be in my natural state while I recovered. Well, I hate the way it looks right now. So I want to use that T, I almost said T3I. This is not a, a calculator. Is that, is that the name? Or the TI? I don't know. Either way, it's not, it sounds like a calculator. I wanted to use that thing that is both a brush and a flat iron and one that I used one time. So I'm going to just do that because my hair's ready air dried i didn't blow dry it after i washed it last week i just twisted it so all i need to do is just put that thing through it and it'll be straight now is it going to be the best so press in the world no but i just want to make my hair look like some decent <clears throat> i don't need to wash it i just need to moisturize my scalp because it's dry so i plan on doing that i just want to make my hair look better than it looks right now because i'm not feeling how it's feeling. I put a hat on yesterday to go to that outlet. It looked so wild. I hated it. <laughs> ah, I hated the whole thing, but I still did it anyway. Uh, there you have it. I do have some products. Like I'm, I'm planning to use this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine for my anti frizz suppress. I don't know if that's a good thing. I did that on my wig one time. But I don't know if that's what I gotta do on my hair, you feel me? And what else do I have? I got some Olaplex. What is that? That's a hair treatment. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that right now. You know what I'm saying? So I want to do it, but I feel tired. That thing does work fast. Should I do it right now? That thing does work really fast. Am I even in freaking focus? Is this focusing? Okay, praise be. Are we tracking? We're not tracking. This is dumb. This camera gets in my nerves. This robe looks psycho because I haven't really cinched it well. What am I about to fall out? What? Not me feeling dizzy on day six. That do be happening. I'm not about to do no hair. I feel dizzy. I'm going to go sit down. I'm going to go sit down right now. That do be happening. Let me just tell you that. I do be feeling like, ooh, dizzy. Let's have a seat. So let's go do that. So this back situa whew, situation has come in handy on top of this small chair, which is great. So I can just sit here in the bedroom. And <clears throat> when I go to sit down and get up, of course I do it slowly because hello. <clears throat> but once I'm seated, I'm seated. Once I'm seated, I'm fine. I mean, there's discomfort, right? It's not comfortable to feel so yoked up and then to feel the tingliness of skin healing. I keep scratching my breast. It feels like it's healing. Thank God it's not like it's stretching. Like when you're pregnant, stretching. Because they've already freaking stretched. <clears throat> it's more 
skin healing that is itchy. <clears throat> doesn't ruin my day but sometimes I'll just feel a tingle like just earlier in the bathroom actually I felt a tingle in my stomach it felt like there was water that just dripped down but it wasn't it wasn't no water honey I don't know what it was like even now I just felt something it feels like something was just crawling on me nothing's crawling on me it's probably the skin healing I don't know but yo when these tubes come out I'm about to start now because she said absolutely no salt or seasoning for 14 days. That's when I'm going to lose weight. Because that's when I'm going to be on them <laughs> protein shakes 24-7. What? No salt or seasoning? I mean, imagine bland chicken. Or bland friggin' broccoli. I mean, I guess if I have to survive. <laughs> I mean, basically that's a smoothie diet. Basically I can just do smoothies from Smoothie King. I'll make my own. No salt or seasoning, so I can do low carb fruit options. I would imagine, because it's the salt that causes the water retention. We're gonna see, honey. We're gonna see. recommends versus this foam that I'm using it's harder and it will target that middle area that collected juice so she's bringing it right now oh this one is better she's right I like this board better and I'm gonna protect it by putting a pad or something or gauze because you can't wash it you can't wash this board but this is way better than this foam stuff <laughs> waiting on valet right now. Y'all going to... Cardia, yes, please. 
And you have the just yeah. Yeah. little abrasions, but if there's any deep scratches or something you want to bring it back to life, mm -hmm. right new, mm -hmm. we can send it off for the workshop and for them to do a full restoration with a small, I think it's around a charge of a hundred and something, okay. but where they make it look like right new. Right now, okay. Mm -hmm. we'll run a little bit bigger. But you want to keep the sizes consistent because if they start getting too large or, or too small, they're going to tangle where they're going to hurt itself mm -hmm. and then they will damage. Can I try with the just on for the wood size? My wrist is at 18. It is still day six. I still take short breaths because I'm so yoked up in what I have on. You know, like this whole thing just got me yoked. You know what I mean? So I am, here I am still feeling cinched, yoked, choked, the whole thing. I have the black version of this sweater on. I really do love it. It goes down to my knees. It is wicked comfortable. Even if you're not getting a surgical procedure, this is real cute. And you can wear it open easily. Wear it open, very trench style. I'm even gonna wear this later. Trench style, crop top, sweatpants, leggings, whatever, gym, whatever the case is, you feel me? Ooh, I gotta empty my drains. All right, so what I'm gonna do, so, okay, a few updates. That massage today was really freaking good because she got in my armpits. I had, I asked her if it was tissue. She said it was inflammation. I suppose just liquid build up, pile up, pool up, whatever. That was in my armpits, which is understandable because I did get underarm lipo and this right here. So it included the underarms. When she was doing it, it was so freaking painful. Anyway, she gave me this board, which I really do love. It's a whole one piece instead of all the different pieces of foam and everything like how to place it because then if you don't place it actually i realized no matter how i placed it there were some lumps it was leaving lumpy indentation okay so this is all one thing one thing that goes right actually it goes all the way around which is perfect so i like this better i got this from the spa i go to bamboo spa I have a 10 sessions and I'll buy more because this is something that I'm going to continue to do so when she put it on me she repositioned where the drains are coming from hence why you see it coming from my I'm going to change that though because it feels weird and when I go to the bathroom I don't want to be peeing on my drain so I'm going to put it back to coming from the top here now I am going to wash this I was contemplating First of all, today is my shower. I decided that I'm gonna shower every other day and I'll do it at night because the other day when I showered in the morning before my massage, oh my God, it, it all took so long, I was late. So as you can see the board now, as I take this off, I'm feeling light and kind of weak. Go sit down. So I'm gonna shower at night from now on. Ooh, and I'm gonna do it every other night. I'm about to change my drains. I was gonna purchase, so you know that I have the XL version of this garment. It won't even go over my hips, okay? However, I do imagine that I'll lose some weight because I'm about to go on the no salt diet, which is basically like I told y'all earlier, freaking liquid, liquid diet. So I'm gonna lose weight anyway. So I know that the XL will fit me eventually. So I'm not gonna worry. And plus I already opened it, I cannot return it. I say this because I was going to get another double XL to accompany this. However, she gave me an idea. My armpits are sore, because again, the armpit lipo, and then, because the kids connect to the, to the breast and I had a breast lift. So I do need to do some arm exercises, simply lifting and lifting and bringing them down. I'm gonna stick with this. I was gonna get two of these, but I changed my mind because she said that when I'm washing this, 
to keep the board on. And I'm like, oh, that makes perfect sense because the board itself is cinching me and there's a, a smaller size that I can get later. So I'm like, boom, perfect. So what I'm about to do right now is wash this black garment for the first time in a week. I know, <laughs> thank God it's black, right? I have showered and then put it right back on. So I'm gonna wash this garment for the first time. I'm gonna empty my drains too. It's hanging out of the, the crotch part of this. And then I'm, okay, I'm gonna wash it and then like air dry it or put it right under, right under the fan. I'll put it right, the, right under the fan <laughs> so it can dry fast because you're not supposed to, you know what I'm saying, put it in a dryer. So while I do that, I'll just have this on. Do you see? It goes all the way. Like it's really, really good. And then I ordered two more bras, smaller ones. This is size large. I ordered a medium because my doctor was saying that she even felt like she could have put me in something smaller, but the large is the smallest that I brought with me. So I will not be without the compression, which is why I love the board because you know I had the foams before. And with the foams, you need the garment to to freaking you know put the foams on. So I'm so glad that she had this board. So shout out to Miss Sandra. She's so great. I almost cried today just saying to her, "Thank you so much for taking good care of me, and being so sweet. She's so sweet. She's so nice. She's so patient. You know, like you're handling me and my body fluids, and she's very professional. She's not like you know so." It's just, it's a blessing to me. It really is. Next time I put this on, I'm going to go down a little bit so that I can really get my mons because I did have surgery in the mons area. Excuse me, lipo. I could actually go tighter with this board, but when I put the garment on top of it, it's mad tight. So <laughs> I actually do need to breathe in order to live. You feel me? So I'm gonna hand wash this garment right now in the sink. And the good thing is that it's mesh. And I did get my new compression socks in. It's a three pack, I believe. So I'll be rotating through those. My garment ripped a little bit. Yeah. I wonder if this can go tighter. Oh yeah, it can go tighter. And I had her put a gauze on this hole so that it didn't mess up on this because you can't wash this board. And then I ended up putting one of the foam things on the other hole, the, what do you call it? You know, the tube hole. Because again, you can't wash this board. So I don't want there being no stains on it. And so that's just nasty. Especially if you're operating from a condition of weakness, which of course is where they want you and where they'll keep you given the chance. This technique is called gaslighting, and it's a typical primary weapon of choice. And if you want to learn more about narcissists and gaslighting, you can watch this video here. Now that said, there are some specific arguing techniques that narcissists will use on Wiki for no other reason than to deliberately bait you into a fight. Like, for example, they'll often minimize your distress laughing at you when you express how hurt or disappointed you actually are. The counter attack. For example, you could say, well over a hundred more videos and This will be my third shower. I generally stay with my back to the water, but we're a week out. So it's not like the, because the reason why the doctor said I should stay with my back to the water is because the water might be hitting my Hitting my, uh, you know, incisions and it, it could be painful, but it ain't painful no more, yo. The pain is my skin <laughs> because of the lipo. The, ow. The pain is not, and now the, the skin is itchy. The pain is not because of the tummy tuck, okay? The pain is the skin being swollen. Whew, but it feels so good to just have hot water on the body, warm water, or whatever you so desire. It just feels so good to have it on the body. Now I'm gonna pin this uh, in that obnoxious way. Cause it needs to be out of the way. I wanna wash my neck, my ears, like come on. I wanna wash all of that. 
and I don't have a ponytail or anything. I just realized I wish I had put something on my belly button. Belly button tissue has petroleum jelly on it while my belly button still heals. I take a piece of it from this that I got from my doctor. Ooh, the belly is looking good. So, uh, oh yeah, it has gone down. Wow. Ooh, my tummy has gone down. Wow. Ooh. My, I don't know how old it'll do with the internet and, and my, uh, I want to show you the incision site, but I don't know how that will do, but anyway. Ooh. Like the skin just feels differently on my lower back. The lower back, it feels fake. That's how sore and numb it feels. It just literally just feels fake. Okay, so did my new bras come in? I gotta check at the front door to see if my new bras came in. Ooh, my breasts are going down, which I can't lie. My chest is so dry from the eczema, I gotta really put some cream on it. I've been neglecting it because of the surgery. I gotta check on my new bras. I can put that on. My garment is nice and fresh. I can't lie, I put it in the dryer. I'm delicate, I don't care, I am not time. And I think it'll be fine, we'll see. It'll make it tighter, which actually is a good thing. Ooh. Yeah, so my breasts are going down. I like them being big. <laughs> I mean, if they're a good, decent, still size, like this is me, but I liked how full they were. They looked so, I mean, I still have <laughs> way more profile up top than I've ever had at my breasts. This all looks light. Is this swelling? I'm just admiring myself. Let me go get in the shower. Okay, so for today, I'm just gonna have this headband on. Let me hurry up. I have not had my coat on since this morning. So, I'm not in pain per se, but, not but. So, what I'm gonna do is just take the diazepam why can't I do this? At night. I'll just take that at night. I don't need the coat on per se. The pain is bearable. I'm in pain. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. But it's bearable. This is just to get it out of the way. If you didn't watch the other vlogs, you're probably thinking this is obscene. But it needs to be out of the way. You can't let your drains hang while you shower. It might fall out. Imagine. So it needs to be away. And I did the necklace thing is annoying. I want to wash my neck well. I'm trying to feel in my skin where the tube is. Oh, I can feel a little bit. Is that the tube? It's like winding. Oh my God. Yo, this is insane. Is that the what I can say is tiring is being bent over, even in the slightest. Also, my midsection feels like a bodysuit. It feels like I have on a bodysuit. It feels like it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to someone and it's heavy and I'm carrying it. That's what it feels like. Like how the police wear that belted whatever with all their gear on it. It just feels like I'm wearing some kind of heavy bodysuit that I cannot take off. That's what it feels like. So that just feels heavy. It just makes everything feel so heavy. I like to just be able to do so. Look at me bending over, lotion in my foot. That doesn't mean that everyone can do this. What it means is that I can do this, you feel me? My back is itchy. Yup. What's itchy is that middle lipo area. Mad itchy. Okay. Next leg. Oh, but yeah, so. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna take my glass of ham tonight. Just to muscle relax. <laughs> Allow me to sleep more than three hours, basically. And uh, go from there. I'm stopping the Norco. I don't need it. My only issue is, my only main issue is the freaking tightness. And the, even in my armpit. Cause I had like, well, in my armpit, you feel me? 
mom gonna be like, hey, Nana, I'm not surprised, isn't it? She's so surprised that I can do so much, even on day two. And I'm like, mom, you know where I get it from? I get it from you. You are the same way. You are the same person who does so much, you know, all with all your ailments and stuff, she will do, she will surprise you. And that literally, I just, I just skipped a breath, what? And uh, she was like, I know, huh? She knows. I'm just like her. I had my assistant order some more sports bras for me. She did say Thursday, didn't she? She said Thursday. It will come Thursday. Okay, no problem. Whew. Alrighty. Pardon all the breathing. You're watching a recovery vlog, so this is life. And then, that was a workout. And my breasts have gone down. Yo, I like them. I still love them, but I wanted them there. I would have liked, I would have taken them there. I'm not, I don't want implants. I don't need them. Okay. And then, we'll do the belly button. Get my cotton swab. Whew. And you can't even take a real deep breath because of the freaking tightness. So, there's that. Okay, let me hold this. Okay, go. Hey, ma. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Hey, you bring What are you doing? Oh, you're pulling it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just go back to Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to cover it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Was that a workout? Was that a workout? What about it? Nanka. What does it do? I don't know how to get struggle. Was that a workout for you? Yeah. It's not strong enough to start to... It's me, it's crumpy. Yeah. Air crumpy. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, wait, what's this up? Look at my... Ah, shh. Oh, my hand is crampy. Ah, oh. that's not going to come out. Yeah. Yo. Woof. What the heck? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> This thing is tight. How is it? She make it. God of mercy. She make it God. Mm -hmm. She make it God. Hey, man, stop showing me that. Stop showing me that. Wow. Yo, it's because I dried it. It wasn't this difficult like they like two days ago. Okay. Yeah, but since it's washing to the best of maybe. Yeah. I'm telling you, whenever I wash it and it dried on delicate, no, 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 what the heck? Wow. Can you imagine the XLJ? Hey, Katsi, it dried on the XLJ, so who needs it? No, 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 no how light? Yeah. Clean. Clean half. What? I take care of my feet, say. What did they know to clean? Well, you know, I do a lot of foot exfoliation and you know, I just I shower. You go fuck that me cook. Cause some of them are in shower. Mom, please, my stomach. And then, when you come, I'm like, wait, my stomach. I want to say the other. Please, wait. How can you do that?
Yo, my stomach is about to rip. Yo, my mom is sick. If you had gotten in, you understood what she said. She was like, cursing me out. Oh my god. I'm trying to tell her how my, my, my feet are so light. Clear. Shower. Yo, she just cursed and I can't do it. Wow, my stomach just came apart. Good morning, it's day seven. And I just washed my face and I'm liking it. So I washed it because yesterday I did the gift to the people mask and I don't know how that would interact with product on top since it's my first time using it. It's 7 6 30. So I washed it off, but it doesn't pill up when I put other products on top. I just realized I haven't shaved my face in a long time and it's time so I'm going to shave my face right now. So that's why my face is dry. So I, put a, I pulled out a new teaser man razor and I'm going to straighten my hair today because I'm just sick and tired of looking at it like this. It looks ridiculous. I have not shaved my face either in a long time. I did exfoliate yesterday. A little. Not a lot. So whatever. I just took two Tylenol. So one week, I just took Tylenol, two Tylenol. In my antibiotic, I'm almost done with the antibiotic. If I were taking it in the middle of the night, every six hours, I'd be done right now. But I don't wake up to take the antibiotic. I don't have much hair on my sideburns because I do laser my sideburns. So yeah, I'll be finished with the antibiotic very soon. And that Tylenol actually helped just now. It's really just discomfort. This garment and the board inside was mad tight yesterday. And it's okay now. I've gotten used to it. So I normally shave once a month. What I'm forgetting. So I'm doing it now. And this will essentially be for January. I also shave my, I also laser my chin and upper lip, so there ain't gonna be much hair here. I feel good. If my eye, in case you're wondering about the surgery, I feel good. My face is so dry, which is normal with the shave. I don't shave with product. I know that there are people who do. Mm -mm. I don't do wet shave. I started off doing it dry. I'm gonna continue doing it dry. I just. I don't want to do it oily with oil or anything and then I get a breakout so I just do this and after I shave I keep my skincare simple and hydrating. I haven't worn makeup in a week because of the surgery and I'm not itching to wear it at all. Honestly if I needed to wear makeup today like if I had to go somewhere if I just wanted to I could I and mean, I could have done it weeks I could have done days ago. I could have done days ago but I just don't feel like it. I mean, not only that, I mean, I would need to sit down and be all tired. I would need to sit down and do it. And I normally stand up here and do it. But not only that, I don't feel like it. I'm just really trying to just chill, you feel me? I'm almost standing up straight, and I basically am straight. I've basically been standing up straight, actually, if you think about it. Yeah, <laughs> one week. I've basically been straight, just a little bit on sober, you know? Get these brows going. My brows have lightened up. You know, I went and got them refilled in September. That was the first, this first refill. Because I had done it last year. And I never refilled it. Because I go to San Antonio. And then I finally went and refilled it in September. And they're nice and dark. And I, my hair is fairly clean. So I'm going to. I'm gonna stand up and just do that blow dryer, straightener in one, whatever the heck you call that thing. Brush, straightener thingy. I'm gonna just do that. Okay, now I'm feeling tired, see? Standing here like this, I feel tired. I'm like a little winded, like I need to go sit down. So yeah, there you go. If I had to do makeup, I'd be forcing it and I would need to sit the hell down. I feel winded just standing here like this. I'm almost done. Just do my brows, which I always do because I can and because I feel like it. This is just what I like to do. Because when I do my makeup, I like for my brows to look a certain way. 
Ooh, these feels good. I probably missed some spots. I always do. Whatever. And this tweezer man blade is replaceable. I simply couldn't find the replacements. Hence why I opened a new one. If I see any heroes later, I'll just go over it again. It comes with a cover and a refill. So, this is a uh, fatigue skincare routine. Obviously, you still gotta take it easy, but if you know me, I don't take nothing easy. Okay, I'm straightening my hair because, like, I did myself nice today and the hair is just killing me. I, can't. I just mustered up some energy, y'all. I wouldn't even call myself energized, but I am just that person. I just, <sighs> I'm a doer. I learned it from my mom. If you have an issue, I'll give you her phone number. Okay, you can take it up with her. Praise the Lord. So the one and only thing I'm gonna use is this Gagne Sleek and Shine. And I need to replace this nail. It's been two days. Try for little. Good for nothing type of. Let's start with the back. could obviously be way straighter but I don't have any interest in doing that because it's not like I'm trying to get this to last me two weeks I'm sure it's gonna act a damn fool when I go outside so I'm actually contemplating just putting it in a ponytail and it's pretty stiff see I got the, all this oil in it and it's weak it's a week old hair my front is even itchy but I'm not washing my hair with these drains in my hair. So I just needed to do something to my hair so I didn't look ridiculous. I was tired of those twists. Uh, my hair is still long. Look at this, it's a little goofy. Let me fix it, it's so oily. <laughs> All right, I'm loving my ponytail. I feel refreshed. I feel like a person today. <laughs> ah, I got my coffee and we about to head out to, I keep calling it therapy. It is massage therapy. It's therapy, but not the talk therapy. We about to head out there and then maybe go to the outlet today. I don't know. We'll see, but I'll take you with me. Let's go. She got the heat on because it's mad cold. It's good. Yeah. This is the day the seven. The back, uh, number one is the, See the back. One is the back, yes. Mm -hmm. 